I think it's it's um, it's a tough event. And I don't think there's any getting away with it. I think the billet is the, the toughest race in the UK or Scotland, um, and it's it's certainly up there. Um, but I think the sense of achievement you get from doing something like that is. is beyond anything you'll get from a 5k, 10k or even a, a, a marathon um, on the roads. So the, the race, starting out at the Red Squirrel campsite, which is a, it's a beautiful place to start, there's views of some of the mountains in Glencoe framed with other mountains, which, so it's a really spectacular site. Um, leaving there you follow the road out onto Glencoe proper, it's just a sort of single track um, at that point. but. Once you get out into the open space, it's it's pretty spectacular. Once you get to the Devil's Staircase, it's it's uphill for a while. At that point, it's it's just sort of grinding through um, to get up. It's uneven ground. You run when you can, but you, I, when it when it comes to trail running, there's an expectation that you've got to walk some of it as well. So yeah, getting up there was pretty amazing. Then coming downhill after that was pretty fun. It's, um, I think that's it's probably my favourite part of trail running, certainly. From there, it's good to have that, the, the, the flat for a while, um, running the tarmac, no, no stones throwing you, throwing you sideways. Um, and then after that, you start climbing again. That's, that's when you realise what the first half of the race did to your legs. Um, it's nowhere near as steep, you're following a more serviced pathway, so it, it, it should be easier, but yeah, when you've, you've done 13 miles and part of that was up one of the fiercest climbs in Scotland, it's, um, it, it makes the rest of it pretty tough. Probably highlight, I think around 21 miles, the aid station serves you pork and cheese. So, um, I've never, never taken alcohol in my trace before, but I couldn't sort of pass up the opportunity either.